Hello and welcome to your favorite nautical authoritative, the master this week, the voice of maritime. Brought to you, of course, by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, the nation's apex regulator of the shipping industry and responsible for the protection of our marine environment. My name is Ubong Isien and it's always my pleasure to be your guide on this voyage. My name is Chief Dr. George Morello. Senator Vinta Masi Garwa. Ija Bonamuse. It's Rollins McFoy, the President of Women in Maritime Nigeria. You are watching Nemasa this week. You are watching Nemasa this week. Nemasa this week, the voice of maritime. The voice of maritime. The voice of the maritime industry. The voice of the maritime. Nemasa this week, the voice of maritime, showing on these stations. Welcome back to Nimasa This Week, The Voice of Maritime. What does it mean to be a maritime nation? Talking specifically about Nigeria. If you can answer that question, you stand a chance of winning a prize, courtesy of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. All you need to do is upload a video recording of yourself telling your story of what it means for Nigeria to be a maritime nation. Your video should not be longer than 60 seconds. Yes, we call it the 60 second maritime challenge. If you're ready, start recording and upload your answer to the link displayed on screen. Now to today's episode of the program. You know, as always, we like to begin with the Director General's Diary. What has Dr. Bashir Jamo been up to within the Nigerian maritime space? You get to find out. There's inside shipping and the regulars you've come to know the program for. So if you're ready, let's anchor away. Our world-class Maritime Experience Center is now live. Announcing Maritime Stakeholders Experience Contact Center, MSECC, where you'll get simple, fast, and tailored solutions to all your maritime challenges on maritime safety, maritime labor, marine pollution, search and rescue, cabotage issues, ship registration, training and certification, and other maritime-related issues. Contact us via the polling channels, 2340163095900. Email us at contactcenter at nemasa.gov.ng, info at nemasa.gov.ng, chat with us www.nemasa.gov.ng, and on Facebook at Nemasa Official. Let's resolve all your maritime related issues. The management of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, and that of the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas, NLNG, have decided to establish a working committee to meet on a regular basis to guarantee better communication between the two organizations in the interest of Nigeria. The agreement was made during a courtesy visit by the management of NLNG led by the Managing Director Dr. Philip Meshabilia to Nemasa. The Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Dr. Bashir Jamo, noted that improved relationship between Nemasa and the NLNG will significantly enhance operations in the nation's maritime industry. In my lifetime in this agency, close to 29 years now, I've never seen the management top management of LNG based in the agency. Even before the advent of the serious uh, misunderstanding between LNG and the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, 
even in our families, we do experience misunderstanding. So talk less of uh, organizations where we have different culture, we have different custom, we have different thinking, different orientation. So naturally, we will have some differences. I was at your headquarters, I think, either late last year or early this year. The misunderstanding that cropped in as a result of the issue of whether LNG should pay revenue or not is one aspect. And then interpersonal relationship, skill, experience, knowledge, which we will have to share, is another thing. It's not about what Jemu want or what Dr. Phillips want, but what Nigeria want. What Nigeria want is to ensure that we live up to the expectation in various mandates given to us. Because the agencies belong to the government of the country. And each and every one of us, we have our own rules of engagement. So you, there are certain functions you cannot achieve without the other. If we have misunderstanding here and there, that does not preclude us of functioning or having an interpersonal relationship to deal with our own issues. Official matters and personal interrelationship work hand in hand. They are interwoven. The Demasa DG also noted that maritime security cannot be achieved without the cooperation of all stakeholders, including NLNG. In his words, At the beginning, of the mission to see how we can eradicate this monster. The inter some of the staff of International Maritime Organization specifically told me that they have never recorded any experience of attacking a LNG vessel. How do they do it? And I had to contact some of the LNG officials and they gave me some guidance what they do which at the private level I do share with some of the ship owners and it has gone a great deal to the successes we are recording. Some of this information are highly classified intelligent information. Now, with the in increase in engagement, we will be able to see the advance of such advice and the impact of value added from both sides of the organization. While praising LNG for providing Nigerian seafarers access to platforms for sea time training, the DG retreated that the master has signed an MOU that would enable the agency to provide an unlimited certificate of competency in place of the current limited version in order to attain international recognition cadets that graduated from the Maritime Academy Oron. But about two decades ago, LNG used to be even responsible in paying some of the cadets in Maritime Academy Oron just to make sure that they have enough CPRs to complement their own pleats and work as a Nigerian in their own pleats. We sat down here, we conducted a kind of audit to see how we can upgrade the standard of our COC to meet the requirement of the LNG. Still, I am abreast with that report. We are working hard. We are going back to the drawing board to see how we can partner with some international institutions to make sure that our curriculum tally and match with the international standard. And in so doing, we sign an MOU that will allow our certificates to be on limited certificate instead of limited certificate that we are issuing so that we can be recognized internationally. And where countries decide to reject our own certification, we will now pay a reciprocal uh, 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 system by rejecting their own so that we can ensure that Nigerians have a place to stay, not just because of your color or because of where you come from, but because you are qualified and you are well 
informed in terms of the CPRN probation. The issue of registration of your ship is another area. Dr. Philip Mishabilia commended the agency for its efforts in managing security in the Gulf of Guinea. I'm fully aware that at the working level and on various operational fronts, indeed, NIMASA and some of our subsidiary uh, organizations like NSML work very closely and work, in fact, hand in hand for the progress of this country. And that is something that is truly commendable. And so my belief is that um, that same spirit of uh, partnership and collaboration is something that uh, we would like to continue to pursue at all levels within our two organizations. I believe that for NLNG to fulfill its mission as a business, uh, it needs to partner with NIMASA. NIMASA is a very important stakeholder for us. Cinema as a regulator, but as I said, as a partner. We have indeed a number of areas that we are already collaborating, and I know that um, we have various training programs in, you know, in which uh, NSML works closely with NIMASA um, in the training of seafarers. I know that there are numerous opportunities that uh, N uh, NSML has also stepped in with regards to providing <coughs> sea time for seafarers, you know, wh whether they were directly through NIMASA or otherwise, that has enabled those seafarers to fulfill their qualifications, get certifications, and so on and so forth. And all of these are just examples of uh, opportunities that we have uh, jointly put to work in order to enable our businesses and, and the country to make progress. There is one important area that I would also like to especially appreciate NIMASA for, and that is the active, managing the activities in the Gulf of Guinea, and some of the criminal activities that have been going on there with the Deep Blue um, Initiative that uh, has been in place <coughs> to date. We can certainly testify that uh, from reports that we get that that has been a success. Uh, it, it, based on the information I have, I don't think that we've had any abductions uh, in, you know, since this year. And, and, and that's just testament to the success of the Deep Blue Initiative that uh, NIMASA has driven. Dr. Jama commended the NLNG for sticking to its objective of preserving and maintaining local content and ensuring that Nigeria benefits from its operation. The Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Dr. Bashu Jamo, has inaugurated the expert level planning team of the agency to commence the process of drafting the National Maritime Security Strategy as part of a major effort to sustain the agency's successes in the fight against piracy. The NEMASA DG inaugurated the expert level planning team in Lagos. Dr. Jamo applauded the International Maritime Organization for providing technical support for Nigeria by assigning facilitators to assist the country in the process. The DG went on to say that maritime security is the bedrock and guarantee of every meaningful shipping enterprise. We must go toward our ability, our responsibility to end this piracy. From 2021 to today, we continue to see the decline in the piracy. Our target is to see the elimination of the piracy in general. So just like Greg Peller said, we have the ability and the responsibility to stop that virus. And that's why today we are in the mix of the international uh, community, because we have a representative of the International Monetary Organization. Sitting we have by the side of me, and, and the consultant also sitting by the side of me, to see the realization and the development of the National Monetary Security Strategy. 
Jamo emphasized that Nemasa is cognizant of the dynamic nature of maritime security threats, thus the need to take deliberate steps to ensure sustainability of its successes through the establishment of coordinated whole of government approach in dealing with issues of maritime security. He stated that the agency's strategic responsibilities to protect ships, seafarers, shipload, merchandise, ports, and all other assets in Nigeria's maritime domain as mandated by the Nemasa Act, the ISPS Code Implementation Regulation 2014, and more recently, the Suppression of Piracy and Other Maritime Offenses Act makes it pertinent for it to successfully drive the collaborative development of the NMSS. As the board may have mentioned, the essence of this is to sit down among ourselves as an in-house and prepare to present our own experiences and cases to the larger group, that is other stakeholders, the Nigerian Navy, Nigerian Army, DHS, National Security Advisor, and all the stakeholders that concern us in terms of developing this national maritime security strategy. Jamo thanks the consultant Philip Hill and retired Rear Admiral O.C. Madani of the Nigerian Navy for coordinating the meetings and providing the technical support on behalf of the International Maritime Organization, IMO. During the week, the enforcement team of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency went on board a vessel MT Winter, a chemical and oil products tanker for inspection at the PWA jetty in Apapa, Lagos. This team comprises of officers from various departments which includes maritime labor, cabotage, shipping development, marine environment management and safety. Their aim was to ensure vessel compliance with the Cabotage Act through the use of checklist documents where the various officers would carefully inspect, physically assess and know the level of compliance of these vessels according to international maritime organization standards. Right now, enforcement officers are on board MT Winter at the PW Jetty of Upper Lagos. Right, so the team we have right now we have maritime labor, cabotage, shipping development, and MEM. And uh, right now what we're doing, we're compiling the documents. They call it checklist. So, you know, to enable us to uh, find out whether the vessel is compliant, cabotage act. To ensure sustainable, secure, 
and safer shipping, the enforcement team conducts daily inspections across the operational zones of the agency under the port, flag and coastal state duties. This activity is to ensure that vessels have the required documents on board. The following are operations of the team, such as effective compliance with the requirements of relevant conventions the departments are mandated to enforce and implement. Check the availability of relevant certificates required and record validity of certificates on board. Prevention of influx of substandard vessels into Nigerian waters, zero minimized pollution of the marine environment and so much more. Can we know what the name of this vessel is? Uh, the name of this vessel is MT Winter. It's a foreign-owned um, vessel coming from Spain, you know, straight to Nigeria. So basically, the vessel um, is for three percent. You know, that's for the shipping development people to handle. Yes. So, sir, we know you are part of the enforcement team. So we want to know what inspection you came to do on this vessel today. Okay. As far as the uh, Marine Environment Management Department is concerned, we want cleaner and safer ocean. And uh, part of our requirement, because we follow international maritime organization standard, we check some uh, statutory certificates, like International Oil Pollution Prevention Certificate, International Air Pollution Prevention Certificate, International Sewage Pollution Prevention Certificate, and we check statutory uh, manuals, like uh, a garbage management plan, so pep manner and we did a physical assessment to know the level of compliance of the vessel so as far as empty winter is concerned it's complied with uh, marine environment uh, regulations so sir, according to your department was there any deficiency found on this vessel not at all i was able to see the manifest because shipping development we are so much concerned about the cargo of the vessel. The cargo, we check the cargo, we check the manifest, we check the loading plan, we check the last port where the vessel is coming from in order to ascertain the 3% surcharge we charge for cargoes. Thank you very much. So one final question before we leave. So since this vessel is compliant and there was no deficiency found, so is this vessel free to move? Yes, definitely. This vessel is free to trade, you know, within the between Spain and Nigeria, they are compliant and we're, we're impressed, you know, with their level of compliance. Thank you very much. Introducing the Nemasa Distress Response Call Lines for all maritime stakeholders, ship owners, seafarers, ship captains, whatever your challenge or distress in the Nigerian maritime domain, please call 0803 0685 167 0708 0005 956 0700 0700 010. If you can't reach us on these lines, please call 0700 0700 020 0700 0700 030. Also via VHF Radio Channel 16. Call and the master will respond. It's still Nimasa this week, the voice of maritime. Let's go online to catch up on some of the nautical conversations going on out there.
can continue the conversation with the DG of Nimasa and extend same to all of our Nimasa official social media handles currently showing on your screen. However, when it comes to doing business within the Nigerian maritime domain, we've said it time and again, because maritime is highly, highly regulated. It isn't an all-commerce affair. You must come into the industry fully prepared, capable, and ready to play by the rules. And that's why it's important to make the Nimasa official website currently displayed on your screen your first port of call. The master's duty is regulation, administration, and promotion because we are the statutory agency of government bearing oversight to ensure that the maritime domain is properly functional for the benefit of all Nigerians. Thank you for watching today's episode of Nimasa This Week, The Voice of Maritime. And we hope you found the program insightful and educative. After all, our mission is to educate and excite Nigerians about the many prospects within our maritime industry. Do remember to participate in our 60-second maritime challenge on what it means for Nigeria to be a maritime nation. Someone once said, that the storm only comes to teach you how to skillfully sail your boat. And I agree. So till I see you next time, I urge you to keep sailing and remain on course. My name is Ubong Isien. Bye-bye.